Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and we're going to talk about cell phone cryptocurrency mining. Now, <clears throat> some cell phones are going to work better than others. Some aren't even going to work at all. So, I've taken a look at two coins, the Raptorium that I've been following, and Scala, because they have a pretty nice looking miner that you can just download off of their website. And we're going to take this rack of cell phones here and get them all started up and mining on either Raptorium or Scala. Now, the Raptorium miner's in a bit of a, uh, I don't know, kind of call it beta. But if you go up to their uh, mining chat in Discord and look at the pinned messages, some fella wrote down all of the instructions to get this mining. And you're going to need to be able to run Termix on your uh, cell phone, which you can get out of the Play Store. Uh, as for the Raptorium Miner, out of all my phones, I've only really gotten two of my phones to work on this, and they're both the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S7. However, I don't know Unix, like, almost at all, but I was able to follow this little guide and follow the instructions and managed to get this phone up to mining. I'm just about to start it, so. Um, enter. There we go. Anyway, while that thing is doing its thing, let's move on to the Scala Miner. So with the Scala Miner, they've actually made it a lot easier. You could just go to their home page here, and if I scroll down far enough, you'll have to stop and get a wallet. Um, the wallet's available in the Play Store, and then you can download the APK for the miner straight to your phone. You're going to have to allow uh, loading of third-party apps, not from the Play Store. So I don't recommend you do this on your daily driver phone. If you got an old cell phone, it's probably better to use that. But the joy of being able to download this APK straight from the website means you don't have to have a Google account assigned in on your cell phone, which, like, it's probably a junk cell phone anyway that was sitting in a drawer. You don't need to add a security hole just by putting a Google account on it. So without the Google account, you just download the APK and you're ready to go. Let me show you how to set up the phone. All right, my suggestion on using an old phone is... When you get the phone, pull the SIM card out of it. You don't need the SIM card. It's not going to be talking to the cell phone company. Do a full factory reset on the phone. When you do that full factory reset, skip all of the Google start instructions. You don't need your Google account on this. You don't need to log it in. Don't worry about it. Once you get that taken care of, you can go into the application manager and delete a whole bunch of apps that the phone is not going to use and might suck up system resources. Uh, it's not going to make your mining spectacularly faster, but it will free up some resources on the machine. And then the next thing you need to do is go into settings. And we're going to go down to about phone. And you go into software info, and you're going to see build number. Now, if you tap on this eight times, it's going to unlock developer mode. As you can see, I've already unlocked it, so it says no need, you're already a developer. And we'll go back to the main part of the menu where we went to about phone and you're going to notice developer options popped up on the top. We're going to open our developer options, have our developer options turned on, and the first thing we're going to hit is stay awake. Now what that's going to do is it's going to keep the phone awake as long as you have it plugged in. That way when you're mining away, your phone's plugged in, it's not going to shut off on you, or the screen's not going to lock on you, and it's going to stop the mining process. So now that it's all set up, we're ready to run the miner. Now, you're going to need a wallet address, so when you're mining, the coins have somewhere to go. As I said, you can get the Scala wallet off of the Google Play Store, so probably just go with that. And you don't need multiple wallets. You can point all of your mining phones to one wallet, one wallet address. You can point all your computers. I mean, heck, this computer right here is mining. And they all go to the same address. So we're going to pop open our Scala miner. Oh, you see that color distortion up there? 
This phone has had a hard life. Now this one says, architecture, your device's architecture is old and not fully supported. Expect low performance. Well, that's why I'm running the Scala miner on this because the RTM miner does not give me that option. It's just gonna try as hard as it can with this phone and get me some hashes out of it. Hit okay. Now I already have this all set up. All you gotta do is put a wallet address into it. Pick what pool you wanna go on. I'm just on Scala's official pool. And then you'll come to this menu and we hit start. That's calculating hash rate. I was doing that. I can have a nice sip of my coffee. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what kind of hash rate we get out of this. I haven't really checked. It's almost there. It's almost there. Yeah, I don't know what phone this actually is. So is it M L G E L G M three twenty seven? So uh, it's like one of those old hundred dollar cricket phones. Maximum eleven hashes a second. Oh man, everybody, hang on. That's 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 just wildly fast, isn't it? Is it gonna go up or is that just that that's just all it's got? All right. Well, we'll add it to the rack. Uh, a lot of these phones that I have in the rack here are significantly faster. I think probably that one is the slowest out of the pile. But, all in all, with uh, good and bad phones and just all the old junk I have in the drawer, I have about one kilohash of Skella mining across all of these phones. And we're going to hook these up to solar power so we're not wasting electricity. And I'm going to see how long I can pull this whole bank of phones on solar power. When you're running these phones with the mining program, they're going to get hot. And my solution to keeping them cool, aside of putting them in my battery box outside where it's a crisp 35 degrees right now, is to use a letter organizer, which just worked perfectly for a uh, phone mining rack. And then if they do start overheating or I have problems, can't keep them cool with just the outdoor temperature, I can put a fan on it and make a duct or something here that'll... Uh, blow the air across all of the uh, ports in this letter organizer. And just that little added wind going across them should keep them cool. Uh, but as I said, I'm putting them outside where it's under 40 degrees. So if anything's going to kill them, they're probably going to get condensation in them. But it's that easy to do cell phone mining. I mean, CPUs are expensive and hard to get right now. GPUs are hard and expensive to get right now. And most of you folks watching my channel, watch, uh, doing cryptocurrency and stuff, probably have a half a dozen cell phones sitting in your, like, in your desk drawer or in the junk drawer in the kitchen or something. So I think if you wanted to get into mining, but only a little, use the equipment that you have, do it completely passively. Uh, I think the only thing that you're going to be in besides a uh, power bill is you're going to have to run down to the dollar store and buy charge cables for all these things. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope this helps you out, gets you mining, get a little cryptocurrency, kind of join the new gold rush. And until next time, build stuff and have fun.